Hello again everyone, Todd Michael Putnam here from D&D Creative Table Designs bringing you another adventure table idea. And this one uh, is another Skyrim inspired D&D adventure, uh, Dwemer, uh, a Dwemer location that I call Rockwater Ruins. Rockwater Ruins and it's uh, based off of the uh, Dwemer type ruins in Skyrim just inspired by the uh, general concept of it not actually uh, a specific ruins in Skyrim so uh, the idea is of course that you come down the elevator uh, into one of these areas right here and the first place that the uh, first thing that the heroes would probably come in contact with is a bunch of skeever uh, as that is uh, common through all of Skyrim ruins of course uh, but then of course there would be these telltale signs, pardon the camera, telltale signs of little uh, primitive, uh, weird embankment-like uh, battlements, uh, which are uh, usually the sign that the Falmer are somewhere nearby. Uh, there would be this broken bridge that the players would have to go across uh, with a rushing waterfall, under not waterfall, but rushing river uh, going underneath, and so they'd have to hop across there, and and one of the other common things that you find within ruins is, of course, bandits. Uh, bandits who have taken, taken up some uh, Dwemer uh, artifacts, Dwemer weapons and armor. So they've got some uh, bronze-type colored uh, weapons and armor upon them. Of course, there's a treasure chest there. The classic Dwemer ruins where they have um, steam pipes and stuff going around. So that's all there. Uh, and they'd have to face off against them. Uh, and then they'd come uh, either up the stairs here. There's, uh, you can move this guy here, and you can see you can either go up the stairs here uh, to this large bridgeway or down the stairs, whichever way. We're just going to go up the stairs for right now. Uh, and here you see that it goes overlooking a, a huge expanse way where you can see Dwemer way down below. And of course, uh, if you played Skyrim, you know there's lots of locations where you can look down and you can see, not the Dwemer, I'm sorry, um, the Falmer way down below. So uh, they battle, of course, some, uh, some skeletons that have been raised across here, uh, and then head down into this area. There's a treasure chest to be found, some ruins. Uh, and then they come down these stairs, and one of the Dwemer automations is here, the, uh, the crossbow one uh, that um, comes out and shoots ranged missiles and stuff at them. So they have those guys to, uh, to fight. Uh, this, of course, is just random scenery on the side, as you'll often find. Uh, there's certain places in Skyrim that you can't actually get up to or whatever it is, so that's just there. Uh, but they'd come across. Uh, this is all, there's an embankment that you can see over this whole area here uh, of the uh, adventure way. So as you go around, you can see all the rushing water all over the place. But uh, you would end up heading down this way, down these stairs. The light may be a little rough from the from the window in the doorway, but there we go. There's some stairs going down, and of course, in uh, <laughs> that sound is my mom's dog. I'm taking care of my mom these days, and um, she's uh, she's missing her mom because mom went to church. So inside the the Dwemer ruins, of course, around where the Falmer are, there are often traps that are still left over. That uh, flame traps specifically. Uh, that often happens. So I've got several flame traps going on. And of course the Dwemer, uh, not Dwemer, I keep saying Dwemer, the Falmer hive type uh, nests that they uh, that they sleep in, uh, mixed in with the actual Dwemer ruins, the big uh, mechanical bronze type machinery that's there. So uh, you've got a mixture of that uh, in a number of uh, Skyrim ruins or Dwemer ruins in Skyrim, you see that going on. So there you've got the, the Falmer type um, housing and uh, shields and stuff going on and of course the charis uh, that are there uh, skittering about almost like guard dogs for the Falmer uh, and then the age-old uh, Dwemer traps that are shooting flames across and stuff uh, throughout the throughout the ruins that you have to dodge through so common experience there uh, head around the corner more more flame traps to avoid more Dwemer stuff some more Falmer, and uh, then you start seeing some Falmer, not Falmer, um, Charis eggs that are here. Uh, with the, you can see the classic uh, stone beds and couches uh, that the uh, the Dwemer left behind. They were obviously not big on creature comforts. 
Uh, and then we head over to here in this section would be uh, have another Charis type guy in here. Uh, and it's filled with all eggs and stuff. And of course, there's a, a treasure chest in the back for them to, to, to gather from and, and one more machine. So that covers that section of the dungeon there. However, when they come down here, they can also go across and work their way over to the bridge. Or if they wanted to come down these stairs back when way back when we were up when we first crossed this bridge here. When you first crossed, instead of coming up over this bridge, they could go down these stairs here and they could get into a fight with some more Falmer. Uh, the blind Falmer, uh, who were previously the Snow Elves, um, but the Dwemer uh, blinded them in their experiments to do whatever nefarious things they were doing or trying to accomplish. So that's another view of that area of the dungeon. Uh, then there's another bridge to cross over here, the Rushing Water Broken Bridge. So the players would have to hop across the, the bridge itself. Uh, and come to here, in which case, of course, you've got the big uh, centurion-type guy that uh, comes to life and uh, defends this area of the ruins. Uh, coming through here, it seems to be more of the Dwemer stuff. It's uh, less of the actual farm farmer having uh, made it across this area, so we see more of the uh, different types of uh, Dwemer um, automations, including their spider automations that they have. Uh, those are actual stuff from Skyrim, uh, officially sanctioned minis from Mophidius, by the way. So these guys here, this guy, the ball one uh, going up, the ball centurion, the, the uh, champion type guy, those are all actual official minis from Mophidius from their, uh, I think it's Call to Arms, 20, 28 or 32, I think it's actually 32 millimeter, um, uh, battle type game uh, that's uh, inspired by Skyrim so or directly licensed from from Skyrim I should say so and again here you just have some more Dwemer um, technology that you don't know specifically what it does but it's just left over showing the the greatness of them some broken pipes that of course are blasting off some steam every now and then uh, some more rooms under the side with their super comfortable rock hard beds and uh, spider automations treasure chests and whatnot and then, of course, you eventually come to an area here that's guarded by one more spider, but the classic Dwemer, uh, uh, the, the classic uh, dragon door that uh, prevents him going through unless you've got the correct claw. So you uh, unlock that puzzle, and then that brings you into the word wall room, in this case, which it has one of the uh, large dragon priests here guarding it that will pop up and uh, an attack and of course there's a nice big fat treasure chest there and there's even an enchanting table or my version of it uh, to enchant items or weapons or disenchant them uh, as you so see fit and of course when you get close to the wall you get the uh, blasting blearing uh, blue and white colors that uh, swirl around you when you absorb the word uh, into your mind and then, of course, later on, you'll have to slay a dragon in order to get the soul in order to power the word for its first, second, or third part. So there it is. Uh, this is Rockwater Ruins. Uh, heavily, heavily Skyrim-inspired uh, experience of uh, ruins to go through. Took about seven hours to build, seven, seven and a half hours to build, and uh, very happy with it. As far as the construct, the overwhelming majority of it is Dwarven Forge. Um, uh, these water tiles are all from their latest uh, Dwarven Forge Kickstarter. I think it's been almost a year. I've been waiting for those bad boys to show up. Uh, and those are double-sided, so you can flip them on the other side. And there's calmer waters that, uh, that show on the other side. And I took, um, you could take just cotton, but I took doll stuffing and put it up in certain kind of uh, strategic areas, if you will around it to show the uh, rushing water and uh, just just add a little bit more of that experience uh, to make you feel more like the water is moving fast. I have to say Dwarven Forge did a great job on the water. Uh, at first looking at it, it's like, eh, I don't know, but boy, once I laid it out on the table, they really did a great job. So uh, kudos to Dwarven Forge uh, on making their rivers look good. For the longest time, I have wanted wide rivers uh, and there really hasn't been a way to make it happen. So uh, kudos to them for... Uh, if you're doing a great job on those. Then the vast majority of the rest of it is uh, you've got uh, Dwarven Forge. There's their classic um, stone dungeons. Uh, these big guys right here, these floor tiles, 
uh, I just think are from their large floor tile set. Uh, then there's also large floor tiles like these, 4x4, four four, but this is more from their caverns set. And you'll see what I did here in order to, to uh, make it feel more like the regular ruins. I didn't put just the classic dungeon tiles. I mixed their, their cavern tiles, these guys in here, with their classic dungeon tiles. Uh, having bought them pre-painted, the paint schemes are similar, but ex extremely similar. They match perfectly well. And so it does a great job of, uh, of recreating that experience in Skyrim where you can see some walls, some work, actual walls, but then you can also see some um, uh, places where the walls have kind of collapsed through and stuff. So it just gives it that ruins experience. Uh, these guys here that I'm focused in on, those are from their castle uh, uh, catwalk type uh, tiles going on right there. Same thing with... All of these guys right here, it's all part of their castle ramparts, I think it's called. Uh, and I just put those all along the edge to give it kind of a fortification type feel. You can see uh, from the upper right all the way down through the lower left and, and around here, there's uh, it basically gives it a sort of a great wall of China uh, ambience to it. Uh, bridging between the river and this is like another uh, layer of fortification uh, to, to protect the Dwemer from whatever anyone who should come from above or below they can be on either side of that and uh, get some defensive stuff going on there uh this bridge across the top the small thin one is from dwarven forge and uh i think it's literally called the great bridge uh and i can't remember which expansion set it's from but it's not on kickstarter anymore so it's it's full retail so you can certainly just uh go on there and if it's in stock you can get it uh, and then the elevation blocks these guys right here um, I use those in order to uh, basically make a, a line across the water, as you can see, so that uh, you can see them in business all along the bottom there. Uh, place those in in order to uh, give some elevation to keep the separation between where the, uh, the fast-flowing river was and the Dwemer ruins. Uh, on top of that, and I can't again remember what Kickstarter, but it doesn't matter because uh, it's available retail now. Um, there's some actually ruined dungeon walls. So I put several of those here, dungeon walls and, and floors. Uh, and I put several of those around the actual word wall uh, just to give that feeling of um, extra decay and destruction of a, of a great, uh, of a great um, society that has uh, fallen into disrepair and, um, and is no longer maintained by the original race. In fact, it's not maintained by anyone. It's just occupied by the Dwemer. Uh, excuse me, occupied by the Falmer and uh, and uh, the Dwemer's remaining automations, uh, which uh, bang away at whatever tasks they were given uh, before their masters, the Dwemer, disappeared. Uh, same thing with these big blocks up here. Uh, those are Dwarven Forge. The big, uh, the big bridges, the two big bridges, those are WizKids, the Stone Bridge. Whiz Kids, the Stone Bridge. Love that thing. It can go together, so it makes it all uh, contiguous, of course. Uh, you can pull that middle piece out and make it a shorter bridge. Uh, they'll connect that way. And then there's bottom pieces, these guys right here, which uh, you can either have installed or not installed, so you can vary the height of the bridge. So it's a, it's a fantastic bridge, and it's a very wide bridge, too. They're very grand bridges. They are perfect for if you want to do battles and have choke points, uh, it's just wide enough that multiple players could form a front line or monsters could form a front line against it. Um, and, uh, but you're bridged by the, the flanking of air and, uh, and water on the other side of, uh, on the other side of the bridge walls. So kudos to WizKids on doing a great job on the bridges. I, I've got two of them, as you can see in this particular build, and, uh, I love them. I think they're fantastic and they, they serve a great purpose. So, uh, if you're looking for wide bridges, there's no, there's no doubt that's a, a great place to go. Uh, and then as far as the rest of the stuff is concerned, it's mostly 3D print stuff. And I got to be completely honest with you. I don't remember where all of it came from. These little houses that are sitting on top of, this one just got knocked off here. These are just four of the Dwarven Forge rounded corners put together. Uh, and then it just so happens that uh, it's almost exactly perfect for, I want to say this is EC3D Designs, and I hope I'm not wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure EC3D Designs uh, has... Um, Skyless Realms Kickstarter, which it's no longer in Kickstarter, so I'm sure you can just uh, order it. Those are 3D prints, uh, and these are Dwarven Houses. So I just had them bronzed up, 
Um, and you know, you've got those like minarets of, uh, of uh, houses or whatever they are in, uh, in Dwemer ruins standing up on circular columns. So put those in here. These 3D prints are just sci-fi. I just uh, search on eBay for, East, um, for uh, 28 millimeter sci-fi terrain. Uh, and I managed to find a couple of copies of these and uh some like some stacks of barrels or stuff like that but they're sci-fi barrels so just had them bronzed up uh and those look great these guys right here i want to say the pipes that i got the majority of the pipes i think those are from warhammer 40k i could be wrong but i'm i'm pretty sure these are these are games workshops uh um pipes so i just had those bronzed up uh, and, uh, and they look great. And, and I just put them strategically in certain areas around, uh, you know, out in the water so, or, or and above in the background, uh, various pipes and stuff. Same thing with this. It was just, uh, you know, uh, 28 millimeter sci-fi terrain. Uh, and, and I found a copy of it, you know, on, on Etsy or eBay. Um, same thing with this guy right here. Uh, that's basically it. And that, that's it. Oh, I take it back. There's also some, uh, some stairs, some of these stairs here. The rounded ones are from Dwarven Forge. Uh, these guys here are from Dwarven Forge. But then I have other ones from WizKids, uh, a majority of them. Uh, these guys here, uh, they have a stairs and ladders uh, accessory set. Stairs and ladders from WizKids. And uh, they, they work great. So I just got a variety of them and uh, put them around in the appropriate locations. The only one that's the real odd one out, and I can't remember, is this square one, which I think is great. And I don't remember where I got it from. It's not from WizKids or Dwarven Forge. I just found it on eBay somewhere when I was doing a search for stairs. And uh, so uh, I use it whenever I can because it's it's unique to uh, any other stair sets that I've seen. So that's it. Apologize, this is kind of a long video, but it's kind of a big build, uh, and it was a really fun one to do. Uh, Skyrim-inspired Dwemer Ruins, the Rockwater Ruins. So there it is. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. I uh, really appreciate the support. Let's me know that you guys are enjoying the channel uh, and that you want to see more content. Let your friends know about it. And I will see you guys on the next adventure. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.